Hey y'all, Foundation Afro here to talk about the film Elysium, which I just came back from seeing, which released on August the 9th, yep, the 9th, in North America, and I believe will be releasing next week in uh, the UK and some other parts of the world, I don't know all where it's released now, but spoilers from this point on. Elysium is the story of Earth in the year 2059, 2154, sorry, ah. uh, where the whole planet has been ravaged uh, by overpopulation, uh, Cities have been destroyed, people are living in squalor. Well, up above in the space station known as Elysium, people are living well. Uh, it's full of rich citizens who fled there when things on Earth started to go bad. And the uh, Minister of Defense, Secretary of Defense rather, whose name is Delacour sorry about the name, sorry does everything in her power to stop illegal immigrants from coming to Elysium including shooting ships down now when Max, the main character is massively radiated to a lethal level at work, he goes to a mall boss spider who sends one mission to get up to Elysium where he can go into a med bay which will heal him and in return he's going to get spider a lot of information on Elysium that will allow him to control Elysium and send medical teams down to Earth to save the world's population. Along the way, he runs into his friend from uh, when he was a child, Frey, and her daughter, Matilda. Matilda is in the final stage of leukemia, so she also needs to get to Elysium, get to a med bay, and be cured. But of course, like I said, Delacour hires, has all these people sent to stop people getting on at any cost, including this uh, Australian guy, Kruger is his name, he's a biologically enhanced soldier, uh, incredibly fast and strong and full, uh, has lots of technology that he is trying to use to stop Max and everyone from getting to Earth, or from, to Elysium rather. Uh, in the end, they get to Elysium, Max sacrificed himself to Put, uh, to reboot Elysium's computer systems which puts Spider in charge and Spider uses his newfound power to save the citizens of Earth who are now, which he also makes when he reboots all over Elysium's data systems, he makes all the citizens of Earth citizens of Elysium, therefore giving them all the rights an Elysium citizen has, including access to the med bays. The film is currently holding a 66 on Rotten Tomatoes, a 66% fresh, so doing pretty good but not great 
And now I am going to talk about some of the movie itself rather than just the synopsis. This is where I get to the hard part because I can't just look at the computer screen to tell me all information. I have to think of it myself. Elysium. I think could have done a better job mixing the science fiction and the action part of it. It's not really a film about science fiction as much. I mean, they live in the future and they have a bunch of uh, future technology. But it's more about the action and the story itself of living in this del desolate space and the people, the higher-ups, having so much but they won't give it to you. The Give it to the people living in squalor in a kind of class warfare kind of thing. So it focuses a lot on that. And like I said, the action and the role the action plays, I think they went a bit overboard to, with it. Uh, for example, there's huge amount of fighting, which not isn't necessarily bad, but I think the amount they do kind of takes away from that story bit and things like the fact that whenever someone is killed they seem to explode for a lot which just seems over the top to me. It was interesting in the beginning but then it just happened to pretty much every character who was killed in some way. Uh, Another thing about that point, Di not Diego, Kruger, sorry, I, he gets a grenade in the face who, which somehow miraculously is able to blow off just the bottom half of his face, leave all his body intact, leave his brain intact. So through the med bays, they were able to uh, reconstruct his face and he's still alive. Um, which they did, I guess, to prove his strength and to show how powerful the medbays were. But I find it hard to believe a grenade would only take off, you know, his, like below his nose like it did. And no bit of his brain at all. So yeah, they kind of went a bit overboard with uh, the gore and the explosions. Like when people explode, it wasn't like a horror movie, there's just blood everywhere. You see them explode and like in the corner of the screen and they're gone. The character shifting in the film plays quite a big role. It starts out as Max, a young boy, and he's kind of a petty criminal, just stealing things here and there then jumps to him as an adult where he's an ex-con who used to steal cars and such with his buddies working for a spider who I mentioned earlier the mob boss so he starts out like he's kind of a He's a bad guy, who's a good guy. He's kind of rough around the edges. And then he gets radiated. He says, I need to get up there. I need to get at least to Elysium. Uh, which he'd wanted to go to since he was a boy. But now he says, I need to get to a med bay to heal myself. So I won't die of radiation poisoning. And he's looking out for himself.
uh, although he does have the friends around him, he says his best friend Manuel, he has to go up to release him with him. And Spire says, okay, if you're going to take someone, you can take Manuel up to release him with you to live a better life. So he's mostly looking out for himself, but he's looking out for his friends too. Then there's a big fight scene where they try and extract information about Elysium from this businessman's brain. Um, everyone gets killed except Max by Julio. And Max finds his old friend he knew when he was a kid, Delacour, who is now a nurse and has the radiation poison daughter, like I said, or the leukemia stricken daughter, like I said. And he's kind of a good guy, bad guy makes at this point. Like he says, no, I'm not going to help your daughter get up to Elysium because they're looking for me. And if they find me with you, they'll kill all of us. Even though he knows that the daughter, Matilda, is going to die anyway. If he doesn't intervene. So at that point, he's kind of looking out for himself. And then he goes really, really bad guy. He finds a drone that he took down, one of Kruger's drones. He finds one of Kruger's drones that he took down that was still semi-function, holds up to his face and said, I have all this data in my head that you need. Help me get to Elysium. Uh, he gets on Kruger's ship and he sees Delacour and Michelle there and doesn't really talk to them. This is after, this is after he sells out Spider because he tells Spider he's gonna get into this information and they just says no to Spider, screw you, I don't care what happens to the rest of you, I need to be saved and it turns all about him. Then he gets up to Elysium, realizes he becomes the true hero at that point. Realizes he has to save himself, save Matilda. Uh, at the same point, Spider and some of his men come into Elysium uh, safely on like both ships because everyone's in a panic about Kruger's ship that crashed on Elysium. And Delcor is not really paying attention to anyone else. So Spider is able to safely land Elysium. Uh, Max calls Kruger. Max, sorry, Max called Spider. Called Spider. And says, "Okay, I'm still going to help you. We are going to save all the citizens of Earth. Make them citizens of Elysium, so they're." Entitled to all the medical care that Elysium citizens are entitled to. So he goes on actually very many character changes. He's kind of an anti hero for the first part of the movie, kind of a jackass, I'm only going to care about myself, not hero for part of it and then at the end of the film he becomes the full-fledged hero. And another character who undergoes a character change, albeit kind of a weird one, is Spider. When we first meet him, he's kind of a jerk. He's 
At least not the generic mob boss with the cigar sitting in the big chair. You can tell he's a guy who's had his feet on the ground and will fight alongside his men should he need to. But he's still kind of a generic mob boss in a way that he's a bad guy and he's only doing things for Max and for other people because he's going to get something in return. Like he's going to get the information on Elysium he needs to build himself up. And then we see that more when they try and attack the businessman's ship, uh, John Carlyle's ship, that's who the John is. Because as the people he his people get killed, like his main concern is not oh no they're killed, it's oh no, it's going bad, we're in trouble. And then like really quickly He gets up to, like, he goes up to Elysium to stop Max and get all the dead in his head so he will have the information. And suddenly he's a good guy. He makes all the citizens of Earth citizens, citizens of Elysium so they have access to all the same rights as Elysium citizens. Now, it doesn't just happen like that. There we go, it's now. It kind of happens slowly, but then it's just sudden, like, it's, his niceness is like this, whoa, and it just goes up. So, some of the character changes in the film seem kind of bouncy and rapid. I did like some of the things that it said for example the massive gap in like it was class warfare on a humongous scale there was the Elysium citizens who were living in paradise and the Earth citizens who were living in squalor, and the Elysium citizens didn't bat an eye at them. The president was more forgiving about Elysium citizen or Earth citizens than Delcor, the defense secretary, was. Like when she shoots down uh, two ships coming up to Elysium, he says, you overstep your boundaries, you can't do that if you step up line again, you are going to lose your position. Now why he didn't boot her out of cabinet right there, I don't know, but that question made for a good, very good film, would it? Because she wouldn't have any power to do anything. Anyway, so, like, he's a semi-good guy. He's a bad guy with some goodness in him. You can still see at the end he's trying to stop them from rebooting the Elysium systems. And making everyone on Earth an Elysium citizen. So, he's... A bad, he's a bad guy, but he's a good guy in the sense that, well, these people coming from, he says these people coming from Earth, we shouldn't kill them, we should just wait until they're here and send them back home, depart them to Earth. And I'm sure somewhere in the population of Elysium, there are people that think like him. To an even greater extent that we should 
help these people of Earth. We don't really see them. I really would have liked that to see these people uh, saying that the citizens of Earth need to be saved, even just a few of them. Because uh, Delacour starts her coup to bring down the president. So she'll have complete control of Elysium under the guise of we need to ramp up stopping Elysium citizens from coming. And when Julio's ship crashes, she says, that's why. Like, look, they have a ship that just crashed into our space station. We need to stop them. So. Uh, obviously she sees a need in the population that we need to ramp things up. I, she needs to take control to quell this. But they didn't really show uh, the citizens at all. Well, they didn't show the citizens at all. The Elysium saying we need to help these people even though they massively had the resources to do so. Uh, so, I think that is all I have to say about Elysium. That's all I could think of right now. It was a good film not great. Like I said, it's holding 66. Don't turn off computer screen. 66 on Rotten Tomatoes right now. And I rated maybe a bit more highly than that. Not only giving things numbers, but it's probably right in the middle of good if you go bad, awful, bad, okay, good, great. It's probably right in the middle, maybe a bit lower than the middle of great. So that's about all I have to say. I recommend you see Elysium. Uh, tell me what you thought of it down below. I will also make a thread in Ready Up Live with this video and where people can discuss the film. So I'll post a link to that below as well. Uh, please, like I said, please be sure to tell me what you thought there in the comments here. Give me a like if you like this video and subscribe for more content. Bye bye.